My name is Nelson Opong Jan Wedi. Well, Girls School have been in the committee for five solid good years. And first of all, we thank the Almighty God for such a project. There's no school in this community or in this municipal, or let, let me clarify this region. Even in Ghana as well, we have about two or three. So meaning we are blessed to have such a school in such a village. Well, to my experience, before girls' school, we encountered a lot, especially the girls. There came a time we were ranked first when it comes to teenage pregnancy in Christian Munivari Municipal. But thank God, since girls' school came, the motive behind the, the, the children, you see, even the, the parents are now praying. When someone is pregnant, they are praying for, for a baby girl because of girls' school. For the first time, we have a school with such a school bus, a nice school bus. You look at their uniform, you look at their teachers, you look at the staff, the way they control their children, the way they begin to speak English and other things. Everyone wants to go to their school. So I told my, my, my son that you come down. I know one day, one day, there will be a boys' school. My family is a beneficiary to their school. I think within my nuclear family, we have about nine. My, my brother, our, our last born, is having a child there. Uh, I think my sister Rahel is also having one. My brother, the UK, is having one day. My uncle is having four. I, mean, I cannot mention all. I cannot mention all. Like, if I want to extend it to the standard family, I think we probably have about 20. I'm not lying. It's true. This school has been a beneficiary. And one thing I'm praying to God at, God should give me a female child because I, I, I wish to. That is, that is my prayer. I want my baby girl to attend girl school. Because of girl school, now we see the, 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 the girls within the community, everyone wants to go to school. At first, you, you, you ask them, won't you go to school? They say, my mom said, no, I'll be a trader, I'll be a seamstress, I'll be this, I'll be a hairdresser, so I don't want to go to school. There was nothing like that. Lack of knowledge. But now, because of the introduction of girl school, all the girls, are yearning for school. From the beginning, there was a doubt, thinking that maybe it's a scam or maybe 419. But now, looking at the structure, looking at how it is run, the, the, the parents, let me say the community, including the chiefs and the elders, are now in support for their school. But when it comes to free education, I think this is where we explain for education. Because over here, there's free teaching, uniform is free, they provide water bottles, exercise books, Feed this. I mean, what have you? Anything that a student may need, everything is free. The, the clinic, that's the community clinic, also being helpful. Looking at our rules, sometimes when someone is pregnant, they need to carry the person from here to a coupon, or maybe sometimes over. So you just go for a driver. Sometimes they, do, they, they refuse to go because of the road. But since uh, we have good school or could go to city in collaboration with the, the clinic, I think. We are now ease with our problems. Nowadays, we don't have to worry uh, going to Akupong or maybe the nearby towns, but we have the community clinic here, which is also a purposeful to uh, the pregnant women and others over here. I can't say that, but the little I don't know that it's been a beneficial to my family. And I thank God for the wound that brought Shadow Akosei. I think Girl School is a game changer in this community. As for me, I support Girl School and I'm praying for Girl school. So let's go girl school, go higher. I think the limit for girl school is not the sky, because the limit for girl school is above the sky. I think heaven will be the limit for girl school. Thank you.